So here's the Inspiron 5100 all done. Will it YouTube? It's an old phone, but it works. It doesn't work now because the thing isn't plugged in yet. It YouTubes at 144p. But of course, that's not what this video is about. What is this? Well, some of you may recognize the character. This is a Dell Latitude D600 laptop that has been blacked out and has fancy rims on it and shit like that. This is hand painted, um, I believe. I'm not exactly certain on that. If not, it was like laminated and painted over. Or I don't know what the hell. The inside has been heavily modified as well with a white painted bezel. Here the paint got a little sloppy. I did not do this. This used to be my sister's laptop. She put little stupid skulls on the thing. She's into this kind of shit. So anyway, there's that. The paint obviously didn't work well on the bezel. And it doesn't stay snapped in, nor does it close really right. You gotta slam it and then hope, and then it sort of doesn't work. This has a definitely not Dell branded <laughs> adapter that just says replacement AC adapter and does not say anything regarding Dell on it. This is one of those refurbished Latitude laptops. I'm pretty sure it's like a refurb one. It originally came with uh, XP Pro. There's the product key, all the other info. The battery on it. The little button doesn't work. I don't know if it actually holds the charge or not. Little docking thing there. And the ports on this one are as follows. We have a drive that the button is painted purple on. Okay, this is sort of caved in for some reason, the way it looks. I don't know if the camera picks it up. Uh, it's a DVD drive. I don't know if it's got a burner or what. Kensington lock port right there. The back of it has the bulk of the ports. USB. That is an S-Video out. Modem, Ethernet, parallel, VGA, serial, power in, Heatsink, knackered case around all of that, knackered LCD bezel right there. I guess just another slot for cooling or whatever. And on this side you have your microphone and line out as well as a card bus slot. Power button is a little knackered as well. You gotta press it like hard to make it work. D600. This is a Pentium M 1.6 gigahertz 600 megahertz and has 1.25 gig of RAM and a 40 gig hard drive. It says the drive in it is a CD burner DVD reader and that's really about it. We'll go and boot it up. This is also equipped with the beat-up Dell hinges where they're loose like that. But it still works. Invalid boot.ini file. Booting from C Windows. C Windows run. Run Windows run. Windows crash Windows. Windows XP. Quite a long, warm welcome. Oh yeah. If you don't know what that is, you're going to have to find that kind out. Because I'm not going to tell you. But anywho, that's it. It's here. It's slow as hell. See, I just hit control panel. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly my point. 
Now I think the battery on this thing is shot. The BIOS actually shows the uh, information about the battery and uh, it just said it wasn't even installed so I'll try reseating it but I don't think that's going to do any good. And as far as control panel, I don't know. So this copy of Windows, the hell with it, I'm done. This will run 7 about as good as the Inspiron 5100 will. In fact, maybe faster because of the processor, even though it lists slower, but it's supposed to be faster. It has that Centrino shit and all these other fucking buzzwords, and nobody knows what the fuck any of it means. So, with that being said, and control panel is still not loading, I've already run diagnostics on this machine and found that all of the components are working properly. So that indicates we are dealing with a Windows bug. It's still loading. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera. Or where the hard drive exactly is. Maybe it's here. Oh, look what decided to come up. So that's intolerable. So we're going to Windows 7 this one. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. We'll have a wrap up on it with Windows 7 on it once that's all done. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.